All right, we need to clear something up. I am someone that plays Street Fighter. I'm not a Street Fighter player. With that said, did you guys see the, the Kuma announcement? That was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, you see that number down, down there, 43 hours? That entire time, I have not taken the game super duper seriously. I've tried to get better, but I haven't really sat down and grinded out the game. I was recently contacted by a frequent viewer slash someone I've also fought in the past, Peter. Peter's a very sweet human and he offered me sort of a training camp almost. Peter contacted me saying, hey Sen, it's Peter, the gold Luke you fought in Street Fighter V a long ass time ago. Don't worry, Peter, I never forgot about you. Uh, glad you've been playing Street Fighter again. I was watching your Street Fighter videos and just had an idea and was wondering if it would interest you at all. I just recently hit master with a character and will continue with each character to master. I was thinking if you wanted to do a series where I get you to master. And I said, yes, absolutely. Let's do it. Peter is a super nice individual. I love talking to Peter. We actually haven't fought in Street Fighter 6 and maybe we'll actually get around to that soon. But the major thing I've been running into with Street Fighter 6 is a character crisis. Now, these are not all the characters that I've gotten to ranked. I've gotten a lot more characters placed than this. But this is my PlayStation account I originally started playing on PC. Most frequently and recently, I have been playing Ed at Plateau. This character is a lot of fun and potentially the character that I want to focus on. Uh, I did not place very well with him and have kind of been on a slow climb with him, but I very much enjoy this character. Now, uh, initially, one of my mains was Ken at also Plateau, a little bit higher in the LP. But it wasn't until a while later that I actually started to figure out Street Fighter VI. My original main being Kami, placed at Diamond 2, which is also my highest ranked character as of right now. After Kami would be Ryu at Diamond 1. So I'm kind of all over the place. I, I actually don't know if I have anyone else placed. Is Chun, Chun is placed Plat 1. I don't think I have Guile placed on here. But like I said, I've been kind of facing a bit of a character crisis. There's a lot of characters that are a lot of fun to me. Uh, Ken would be the easiest for me to kind of get a feel for. He's pretty strong, pretty simple and to the point, very good all across the board. Uh, Ryu is one of my higher rankings that's not too dissimilar from Ken. But like I said, I've been having the most fun and the most motivated to play Ed. So at least for now, I think I'm going to stick with Ed. All right, let's start this off with talking a little bit more about me as a player and kind of getting to know me, strengths, weaknesses, such as that. And it's honestly really easy for me to label weaknesses. Uh, I think as far as strengths, I'm a decently quick learner. But with that said, I haven't really set a lot of time to actually grinding out the game. Um, so weaknesses, I'm going to start with two as a matchup. The first being Zangief. Uh, Zangief is just kind of my demon. I just really struggled to fight the character, not that I don't know what to do, but it's more so the fact of I'm so afraid of the command grab and how much damage the command grab does that it gets me repeatedly into bad situations. The next biggest point of weakness as far as character is Blanca, and that is definitely character unfamiliarity. He's got a lot of strong things about him, and you just don't see him a lot. Some other weaknesses is I don't think I've really set a lot of time to put in a solid game plan for any one of my characters. So I feel like as soon as I do get a general game plan, I'll be schmoving through the ranks a little bit. Let's actually play a match and in the aftermath we will talk about kind of some more things I think about myself. My combo game needs a little work for sure. It's not so egregious, like I'm getting damage, but my damage could definitely be optimized a lot better. I do have a level 2 combo now, which I've been starting to incorporate more into my game. Uh, this is another one that's a bit of a potential weakness. I don't fight a lot of JP, so I don't have an amazing game plan. The best game plan I had was with Kami, and uh, that's because I could cheese a lot of his projectile game. But we'll see what this, uh, this JP is offering. I like that costume of his, by the way. Okay, he's just kind of getting ran over right now. Oh, big lag. Oh, I dropped it. Okay, the connection's really shit right now. I would not be surprised at a one and done. I'm going to be real.
Give me that grab. Let's go. Okay, he checks. Okay, nice jump in. Gets the throw. Okay, nice check on the grab. Back there. Try to air to air that. Get the sweep. Uh, I try to do flicker. Nice tech. I'm just gonna take level three here. I think level three kills. And that should be game one. The connection's pretty not great. I feel like I played against my opponent well. I don't feel like I played well, if that makes sense. Okay, nice. EX portal. No anti-air there. Terrible. Need to be more ready for the anti-air. So that's an overhead, eh? Okay, the teleport. I went for sweep too early. He was at advantage. Blocked my sweep, but he didn't do anything. Nice jump. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. As soon as the matchup starts to like rear its head a little bit, didn't know what to do. Obviously, I have to close the gap. I'm sensing a jump. Traded there. Going for sweep too early. I thought I parried that personally. Just trying to keep his distance, which is in fact smart, which you need to do. Nice. Oh no, he knew. Level 2 combo. No, he just has full level 3. He should be able to kill it here. Doesn't kill. I'm not blocking in time. Oh, it's an overhead. I keep forgetting that's an overhead. I need to actually be on the look for that. Still no anti airs. That was just very fortunate for me. Uh, I was just hard stun locked there, by the way. I didn't even know that was a thing. I could have tried to DP out, maybe, and got lucky. But we did win, but once again, I didn't feel really good about anything related to the matchup. This is another one where it's just, it's in kind of the same region as JP. I generally know what, what to do, but there's not that many players that play this character around my rank. Yeah. Oh, she, she got me. Nice. You're gonna jump. Yeah. Alright, nice. I felt worse about that game, to be honest. It's like I'm winning, but I don't feel good about how I'm winning. I used to do meaty fireball a lot, but meaty fireball doesn't really get me anything. It does leave me plus 13. Huh. This is where weaknesses are really gonna show in the mirror, for sure. Yeah, I used, I always did that. Nice throw. He likes double low to grab. Nice. 
I miss him? Oh, I did. Nice, good answer. I should not have done this. Not ant hearing me. I'm just dead. I wasn't dead, but I thought I'd get chipped out there. I'm pretty weak to the double jump. Actually, plus one there. Check me. Alright. Round's not over yet. Uh, definitely a mentality thing. This isn't for me, but it's for anyone at home. If you... Okay. I was gonna say, if you lose the first round, don't sweat it. Just try to remember things that uh, happened throughout the game. Let's see if we can get some ideas here. Because just playing is only gonna get us so far. Um, I liked what he was doing with the fully charge. Leaves him in a crumple state. He, he actually didn't do fully charge. He did like... I need like a better combo from that. Can I get a heavy kick in there? No. I do crouching heavy kick. I'm only plus one. Crouching medium kick is plus eight. Seven frame. So maybe... Eh. like that I actually have to why is that not linking plus eight seven frames there it is this is one frame advantage so this is just a poke really and then a good drive rush cancel option but that that means I could do drive impact reaction but also I have potential to special move cancel as well Best course of action to maybe react to drive impact would probably be drive impact, but I think this this is also an option. So what did I need to do again? I need to do crouching medium kick, medium punch, heavy punch, dash. I could just go into special move. Modern Ed, huh? This might be a little tough. Okay, bro's moving for real. I need to check that. Nice throw. And jump out. Ah, I didn't want that. Here, there. Nice. Let's jump out. Mm. Okay, no tech. Doing that raw is just an invite to get punished, get drive impacted. See if we can collect ourselves a little bit. Nice. 
Nice jump in. Oh, I missed. Okay. Don't do that unless it's in combo. not looking great for me all I really have is wake up level three and I think he knows it maybe he doesn't know it I'm gonna go for cross up here the drive impact oh, I'm not getting cross up Made my job a lot easier. I was looking for Chip out there, but he just kept jumping, so. The reason I like backing up there is because of their options. If they try to dash out, I can potentially whiff punish or if they do an attack or something like that. And a lot of times they'll try to jump out, so I'll just wait and answer here. There, the eye. Attack on the throat. No answer here for me. Can't DI off that. I just gotta stop doing that move so much raw. Sensing a drive impact. Nice, good answer. Sensing something dumb. It might be for me. It's not what I wanted. And that's game. Well, not game, that's the round. Kind of dumb on my part, it does secure the round, but he still has a meter, I don't have meter for the next round. So it just means I need to play extra well now. But it also makes him more inclined to dump meter. Nice tech. Ooh, I tried to DI back. I just think I was too slow. Alright, he spends level 3. This is a bad spot for him, in a way. Because he's just evening it up, and he's spending his meter, though. Alright, we cleaned it up there a lot at the end. 